welcome back everyone to the afternoon session of the DLA European Technology Summit. Um, I'm delighted to uh, be able to kick off this afternoon session today with a terrific panel that we have here. What we look, what we're looking at is uh, data analytics and legal services or tech and legal services, possibly one of the, the most challenging areas of, uh, of bringing tech into into operation, but but also an area which is increasingly um, got prominence in terms of new activities in this space as, as different players look at how we can uh, achieve more in this space using tech. Why has it proved to be so difficult to genuinely innovate in the legal profession? We are a conservative bunch and uh, some of you will know I've done work on looking at eight different professions and the uptake of the technology. And it is true to say, other than the clergy, uh, that lawyers probably are slower than any other profession I've examined in using technology. It's a question of where the incentives lie. Can I just clarify, by the way, uh, this automation innovation? I'm not using innovation in the sense of being creative and doing new things, because we've been marvelously innovative and creative during the COVID period. I'm using it in a more technical specialist sense, saying that the use of technology to change the business model rather than to change, for example, the channels of communication. Um, but the, the more general point, and if our hosts will uh, forgive me for saying this, I, I often say it's hard to convince a room full of millionaires that they've got their business model wrong. Simply put, the reality is that if you look at the top two or 300 law firms across the world who dominate the delivery of legal services to major businesses across the world, they have succeeded for 25 years on the current model, and it is genuinely hard to say to anyone who's running a firm that they should stop and embrace self-disruption. The dominant providers have been exceptionally successful. They've had no, if your competitors aren't undercutting you and your clients aren't clamoring for change, then most leaders will think, let's hang on with this model for a few years yet. And to play safe in parallel, we'll have some R&D, we'll have some exploratory work, we'll do a little bit of innovation in the edge. But if we're really honest and we look at the way that most law firms succeed today, it doesn't differ wildly from the way in which they succeeded at the turn of the century. None of this is actually to criticize law firms. It's congratulate a great model. But I would say that the 20s, once again, is going to be this decade during which fundamental change will come about.